hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i'm a cruelty youtuber that does some makeup videos and today i'm going to try something that i want to do more of but i don't know if i'm um, like good at it or not but today i'm going to try to do something or Maybe not like an exact dupe, but like a vibe from a palette that I want to own. And if you are new here, just a little backstory to maybe why I do this. I am trying to have a no buy year or a low buy, I don't know. So far it is a no buy, but we are like in the beginning of February. So it is a lot of time left for this year. But I'm trying to shop less and I'm trying to shop nothing. And I know there is going to be palettes that I do want. And uh, I've been thinking about maybe I can try to dupe out the things I want with palettes that I can't buy. Does that make any sense? I hope so. And there actually is one palette that I really do want. And... Um, I should maybe scooch and it is this one it's a tropical vibes from Ace BJ. I do like Ace BJ. Um, I have had no problems at all with their form formula the old one I I do like them and uh, and this palette I have to I check it on my phone this palette has a vibe that I do really like. It's green, it's grungy, it's a little bit dirty. And I do really, really want this palette. But to be honest, I do have these colors and I have a lot of them. So I have picked out three palettes that I think has the same vibe. I have also taken some singles that I have in my collection to pick out what I like about the palette. Maybe I can start with the palettes that I think has like the same vibe as this one and if you maybe own some of these palettes maybe you can have these as an inspiration. And the first one is a Tribe by Uvias. I don't know if this is in stock or out of stock. They are like taking it back. It's going out of it's discontinued, it's come back, but it looks like this. And I think these this have some of the same vibe as the Tropical Vibes. Not all, <laughs> I know, but I think if you have this one, I think you can do some of the looks that you could have do that you could do with Tropical Vibes. The next palette is actually in the Wilderness by Beauty Bay. This is not my favorite palette, but I took this. And what I think is similar with this one, first of all, this is bigger than the other, but I think like this row is really similar to the Tropical Vibes, some green, some dirty ones, and also like this green shimmer, and it has some green and blue shimmers as well. And so I think this is actually a good dupe and you get more. It's not as grungy as the Tropical Vibes, but I think it has some of the grunge, some of the green, as the Tropical Vibes does have. If you're not looking at maybe the red row and the blue row, but like the two middle rows, I think it could be a good choice to try to dupe some of the looks you could do with the Tropical Vibes. And the last palette is the Flower Punk from Kaleidos. And of course it is like this half of the palette plus this one. And I think this one is the most like similar I have to the more brighter colors that is in the Tropical Vibes. Especially this chlorophyll that is a really good shade actually. So I think if you have this palette you can have like a really fun and good crunch look out of these which dupes a little bit of the tropical vibes and then my single shades and some shades 
that I have taken from palettes. I did do this one. So I will leave all the colors down in the description, but it is mostly lethal, some menagerie and shroud. So I focused on like the grungier greener with a little bit of gold shimmers and I also took this blue shimmer. If I would have bought this palette, the blue shimmer is nothing that I would be longing to use because it's not my favorite thing. Maybe it's not a blue shimmer, but it, in, the, in the picture of the palette, it looks like a green shimmer, but then I watch swatches and it looks more like a turquoise one. I think it's... It's I think they're pretty hard when it comes to the picture of the palettes versus like the swatches. But this is what I've picked out from my collection that I think can dupe. So this is Menagerie, Menagerie and Menagerie. These two are Shroud and the rest are Lethal. So I'm going to do a look that I think I would have done if I would have bought the Tropical Vibes. So I'm going to <laughs> prime my eyes. This has been the longest intro ever. So I think we just hop into this. So for this look, I want to do it like a really bright inner corner, then darker eyes and uh, darker eyes, darker out here, and then do a gold cut crease, half cut crease. I actually think so. I will focus on this chlorophyll from the Kaleidos palette, and then I will dig into the singles. So. I will start with this chlorophyll in my inner corners and Ace Pute for me that lives in Sweden and in Europe they have had they have been on Beauty Bay but they are not on Beauty Bay anymore and uh, I don't know why, suddenly they just disappeared from Beauty Bay. I have no idea why. And I think there is one online shop in the Netherlands that carries ASPT or have done it at least. I have never ordered from there, but I think that is maybe the only way to get APT in Europe because APT and their shipping like the shipping to Sweden costs more than the palette itself and then I need to pay taxes for it so I ordered from them once together with my friend Anna and then it was like 60% off or 50% off and we were like, okay, if we order together, uh, it's not going to be like, it still was going to be expensive, but at least the palette wasn't full price. But yeah, it's insane like how much extra you need to pay. And even though you pay a lot for shipping, it's not going like super fast. So. Yeah, ASPT has been a brand that I have been liking so, 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 so much, but when they did disappear from Beauty Bay, I was like, okay, fuck. So, the first shade is down, and then, now that I don't know, because I want it to be, I don't really know what I want. So I'm checking on my singles and at the same time on the palette just to like, okay. What do I think I would have used? I think I will go in with this one in my crease and then deepen it down with this one. And then actually take... Or well, maybe I, I start with this in my crease and we will see where I will go from there. 
and it felt like this palette was so popular people that I follow on YouTube it felt like a lot was excited about this one and I think much had to do with that um, there is a lot that hasn't liked Ace Bidet's old formula but they have liked their color stories and then when they came out with the same good color story but a new formula that people was really excited about it that's what I feel at least but as I said for me I do like their formula and have always done some of the palettes are better than others and some shades are really shit but some shades are super amazing so I guess that that was one of the things that made this palette be super popular I haven't actually watched that many videos about this because one way for me to not get too much FOMO and feel like this nobody thing is boring is to not watch videos on palettes that I really would have wanted just to like not see what I'm missing out of but maybe that has would have been good because maybe people doesn't like this palette so it's now I don't know where I want to go because I do want to use this one to deepen down my outer corner and I will go with this gold shimmer I think this though this is from shroud this is vigil Vigil, Vigil, and this is Firefly from Menagerie. I think this is most similar, but I actually want to go in with this one. This is a little bit more gold. Maybe I can swatch them for you. So this one is the one from Menagerie that is a little bit more goldish. And this is the one from Shroud that is a little bit more orange. So I actually think that this one is more similar. I think a mix one, mix between these two would be perfect, but I actually think I will go with this because it just, I don't want it like super bright. I want it a little bit more to the grungy side. So I will go in with this one and then this one on my outer part of my lid. So I will start with the matte one from Lethal. Okay, both of them are from Lethal. I'm going to start with the... And both are matte. I'm going to start with the one that is not that dark. And I'm going to have it out here. And I actually don't know if I would have bought this palette if I wasn't trying to have a low buy or no buy. Just because the shipping, but maybe... To go together with one of my friends to order it together. I actually don't know because like the latest before this year when I went in to this no buy I was like maybe I should buy palettes that looks like nothing I have in my collection and apparently I do have things that looks like this tropical vibe already in my collection so maybe it wouldn't have been a good idea for me to buy it and that is like a way I need to start to think about things and I think have that mindset and I think that that mindset could like help me to not buy things Okay, so far I do <laughs> really like this look. Now I just want to find the brush. Some of the clean brush. So I'm going to go in to this dark one. This is not a black one. This is a really, really deep 
in gray one. I think this is a nocturnal. I don't think it's the black one. I think transmutation is the black. Okay, do you know what? Should the same. Okay, this is really dark and pigmented. I want to take it up in my crease a little bit. And I guess you all know what kind of lipstick I'm going to take to this. Okay, I hope this will look really good <laughs> when I go in with the gold shimmer. Because it felt like it became a little bit dark and then I do the exact same thing on this eye. So, for the shimmer and... I actually don't think I need to cut my crease because the shimmers from Shroud they usually are really really amazing I'm going to go in with this and yeah this is amazing as well to take it here and I don't want it to be taking over too much but I still want it to be <laughs> kind of much that doesn't make any sense at all I really hope that this one and the chlorophyll that I have in here from the flower punk will go good together and I actually think they are. Okay, do you know what I do? I do dig this look. I do really like these eyes. So I'm actually going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my under eyes. And then I'm coming back with a complete finished look and if I have some thoughts, maybe I will get some when I'm doing my base makeup, we will see. But I will fix my makeup and then I'll come back. So I did struggle with lipsticks today. I think this is the fourth red one I put on. So the lips are a little bit sore. But I did go with Unspoken from Nabla. I still don't know if I do like this red to this eye look. Even though red as kind of like my thing when it comes to lips some days I'm just not feeling it and today it's one of those days but for my wash line I did use Screaming from LA Girl I love this shade and for my inner corner for my inner corner I did put this chlorophyll just a tiny bit and for my the rest of my lower lash, I did take this one from Lethal and deepen it down a little bit with this one. So, this is my Tropical Vibes dupe eye look and I do really like this eye look and this is something that I think I would have done if I would have bought the palette and it feels a bit better when I can do a look with a palette that I want but I don't have the palette and then I'm like okay I do have the colors in my collection already. I will leave all the colors that I used, all the colors that I've talked about, all the colors that I have in here I will leave down in the description and if you don't have these colors that I have I think you have something in your collection to dupe out this palette if you want to. So I really hope that you did like this video. I don't know, it doesn't feel like this is a kind of video that I do and that I do good. It feels like I'm just saying things that doesn't belongs together. And my ability to speak English right now, I don't know where it is. It's hard. But okay. <laughs> I do hope that you have liked this video and if you want me to continue with this thing, whatever this is, please let me know. But I feel like if I'm going to succeed with having, hopefully not buying new things this year, I think this is a good way to me, for me, to like, okay, I maybe don't need the Tropical Vibes because I can do this look without the palette and I do really like this look. 
I do hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!